All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This here is another video. Guys, I'm calling this the Notary Tech Talk. Um, just will probably try to do a series of these videos on technical stuff. So if you have an idea or something that you want to discuss that's technical with, with regards to notary, um, equipment, things of that nature, let me know. Um, I got one that I'm going to be doing on um, computers. I've been meaning to do that for a while um, because a lot of people are having problems with um, finding the right type of laptop to use just in general. OK, not for it to be mobile or anything of that nature, just in general, just for it to be a good laptop just to use for this. So I'll be talking about um, computer setup and everything. Um shortly i'll be <clears throat> putting that out but this is called notary tech talk and we're just going to be talking about some technical things with regard to the notary business um so again if you got any ideas just let me know so the idea i mean <laughs> the idea the item that i want to discuss tonight is or today whenever this is um the print i mean the scanner so i want to talk about the scanner and how to at least with the brother scanner, um, how to set it up. So where, when it scans, it scans to a specific folder. So normally when I have my scan, it will scan to my regular hard drive on my computer. But this year for 2022, I don't want it to do that. I want it to scan to my external hard drive, but then into a folder that is specifically for 2022 scan documents and that's what i'm calling it 2022 scan documents and all of the documents that i scan for the for the year 2022 are going to be in that folder so to make it much easier for me to find um and everything so let me just share out with y'all my screen and show y'all what you need to do all right so if you have the brother scanner and I'm using Windows 11, so it may be different. <clears throat> so what you would do is select, and if you can't find it, you would just look under the brother, the B's thing, and you'll see brother, print, and scan. Now you have the brother's utility. You're not going to be able to access it from the brother's utility. You got to use the brother's I print and scan. So you click on that. When that comes up, you're going to select the machine so down here you can select different machines um and it gives you the option do you want you know this and then um you got the printers and all of that kind of stuff so i have this usb scanner that's what i'm selecting so i've already selected it and then i'm going to the scan setting the machine scan settings and then in this case, I'm selecting file because I'm scanning it to a file. So when that opens up, it says, what do you want the file name to be? So you can start off with something. So, I mean, you can, I just leave it at this scan. Um, you can have it, you know, long doc or whatever. Now, this second part here is going to add in the date and the time in which the scan did it. Um, so that is automatically added to there. As you see, I'm scanning it as a PDF. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. What folder? So I'm scanning it to this specific folder. I don't want it to go anywhere else, but that folder automatically. And then after it finished scanning, it will open up the folder. So I don't have to run around trying to you know, find it. So it's going to open up the folder after I scan it. So that's what I have set up. Okay. These other settings over here for brother, you know, you don't need two sided scanning for what we're doing. 300 DPI is good. Sometimes some of these companies, they want less, but I prefer 300 black and white auto dock size. All right. So we have all of that set. So now what I'm going to do over here is scan a document. And when it scans the folder after it scans should automatically pop up. Hopefully it'll pop up on the screen that you're looking at. 
Okay, boom. And there it is. So it automatically pops up and you see here 2022 scanned documents. So it pops up automatically right there for me. And then this here is what time is it? And it's this document here. So I just scan, you know, my little cash app pay thing that I just got in the mail. Boom. So it's just that simple. And then from there, you can open it up in your standard, you know, um, you know, your PDF um, item and all of that. So that's all you got to do. So it's very, very simple. Um, look, pull the video back up, rewind it. Look, I mean, you know, rewind the video, look at it again so you can see exactly, you know, what I did. Now, this again is for the brother. I will say for I will say for other printers, I mean scanners like the Epson and so forth and so, so on, it should be similar. You should have a tool in there that you can open up and designate where you want it to be saved. And that is good. Now, what I really wish, and it may be, but I haven't figured it out. I really wish I could have multiple profiles set up so that when I scan, I can say go to this location. <clears throat> and then when my son's scan, it goes to another location. Um, if there's in if it's in there, I haven't found it. Matter of fact, I haven't even taken time out. But this is just a real simple way to keep track of your stuff. So that means the next upcoming year, you can go and make 2023 scan docs. So now you have all of your scan documents in a local, you know, in a, in a particular area so that if they came back and said, Hey, where's this document? Where's that document? And then what I also do, and let me go back over here real quick. So what I also do, and let me enlarge this a little bit, I will then go in here and change the name. So after it's scanned, I'm going to just use my last name. Then I will call it Griffin closing, always closing, or, you know, and Griffin closing is normally my refis. If I do buyer, that means it's a buyer. If I do reverse mort, that's a reverse mortgage. Um, if I do, you know, I'll do seller. Um, loan mod and it's up to you whether you want to put loan mod together loan you know the word you know dash um you know heloc you know that's what i do you know um you know debt set you know for debt settlement or you can spell the word out debt settlement it's up to you but i normally put the person's last name now if it's a name that I've already used and, you know, so it will be, you know, Griffin, you know, so I'll put, if it's two Griffins in there, then I would, you know, in this here scanned area, in the scanned area, um, cause I'm just leaving all of them there, no matter what company they with. So if you really want to get more detailed, you could actually, you know, put the name of the company. So I can say Griffin Earl um, C to, C for coast to coast, you know, um, buyer. So that way, you know, okay, that's coast to coast. Or what I think would probably be better for organizational purposes, and this is what I'm probably going to do this year, is put the name first. So it'll be um, alphabetical. So I will go C to C dash Griffin. You know closing so when you know so you have it there and then let's just say i have another one from um, coast to coast I know, I know. I messed that up. Hold on. C, C. Now, why is it? 
Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I got to close this out. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, that's one of the other things. When you rename it, you got to make sure the file is closed out in Adobe. So that was my bad. That was my bad. Uh, so C to C. So y'all learning something that wasn't expecting to teach y'all. Abrams buyer. All right. So boom. So I normally have mine in the list. So that means boom. It's listed C to C, C to C. So all of the C2C coast to coast and whatever abbreviation you want to use. Now, the key is you got to be consistent. OK. You got to be consistent with your um, with your naming convention. You can't be all over the place using C2C, then coast to coast then coast, you know, all of that kind of stuff. You got to stay consistent, you know. Because it's you, as long as you know what it is, that's what matters. Nobody else is going to be seeing this but you. So, like, for me this year, I'm going to put the name of the actual company that I'm doing a closing for first. So, if number, you know, or you could put BS, you know, I know. <laughs> you could put, you know, but I'm more likely going to put bank, you know, B-A-N-C. So, I'm not necessarily going to put bank serve. So, I already know because there's no other companies that are using bank serve or bank so i'll do that um now you have like signing solutions and then there's ones called signing solutions group so you may go you know ss for signing solutions then ssg for signing solutions group or you might go signing soul sol and then signing soul group whatever you want to use that's what you need to do so that you can keep it organized for yourself. And that's just a cool way, in my opinion, to do that. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with everybody um, concerning the scanner. Okay. Concerning the scanner, um, what you can do with that. So I think that is it. That was on my mind to share with y'all concerning that. Other than that, um, if you got any questions, hit me up. If you got any ideas on other notary tech items, you want me to, um discuss and go over now again look at the there's a playlist called notary printer look at the notary printer playlist um i'll link it over here um at this point of the video as well as um in the um description well not in the description well again yeah, in the description and as a end result um on the um at the end of the video so you can click on that and you can see information about the um about printers and everything all right so nothing else all hearts and minds are clear peace